Hi, Michael Ducat. Good to we, see you, uh, We have another Hall of Famer here, right? Past BPA, past president, to yeah. uh, tell us all about the Ball Expo and what's going on here. I'll tell you, it's amazing. Uh, there's, the industry has changed so fast and so much. I've been here uh, four hours. I've managed to get in roll three. Uh, I wish I had three days to get through all this stuff, but the technology today and all the changes that are going on is fascinating. Yeah, uh, well, the solution would be to make the show longer, another day. Yeah, we need another day. <laughs> but I love it. I, we've already bought three things, and all the new technology coming out. Uh, it's fascinating. So we're Any of it uh, you want to care to talk about that you see is uh, really looking good? Well, the way that the unemployment is today in Florida, we're at 2.5%. So us trying to get wait staff, bartenders, very, very difficult. We got Outback Advertising, Barabas Advertising. So for bowling centers to get those people on weekends, it, we just can't get them. So the tray system where people can order at their lanes or in the arcade, and all we do is have food runners come down. It's something we just purchased. It's something that you're not going to have food sales unless you got people down there asking for the sale. By having the kiosk down there, pictures of food, help food. The pictures really help sell the items. So that's where we're going to go. And I think people now are accepting that. You see it at Applebee's, you see it at other restaurants, you see it in airports. People are getting accustomed to ordering their food from a kiosk instead of a waitress. You know, when it first started, they say, "Oh, people aren't going to do that," but they said that about pumping your own gas. And where are we today with that? So it's just a matter of people getting used to that system, but I think that's where the industry in serving is going, self-serving in the kiosk. So we're excited about that avenue. And the cost of it's like having a waitress for three hours, and you get to service a customer for the entire 14-year open. So it's a no-brainer for us to go that direction. Bowling centers have done a lot on uh, improving the level of food in the last, uh, say, five years. Yeah, absolutely. We've done a big change on our menus, and by having the actual pictures of our food items, there's no... No doubt that when you see a picture of, a, of an item, it sells a lot more than seeing the words printed on the menu. So, you know, it's, it's really where everyone's going, and it, it increases food sales. People look at pictures, salary glands get going, you know, they, they start ordering those products. I've seen it when we go out with my girlfriend and her son, that we go to places that have pictures, we're ordering a lot more food, uh, and that's just going to be an increased dollar spent per dollar of bowling. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, you guys had revenue. probably one of the best food seminars I've been to in my life yesterday. That was amazing. Yeah, that taught me a lot tips. about chicken. <laughs> yeah, I know how to buy chicken now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that was probably one of the best seminars I've been to in years. I took pages and pages of notes, so I can't wait to get the PDF on that. But uh, that made a big difference in how we're going to go back, even with chicken. Getting raw chicken and cooking in your convection ovens, cut your food costs to, you know, 50% in food costs of that item. I didn't know that 40% of chicken fritters was breading, you know, so you're paying for all that money for all that breading and not chicken. Right. So it's very you educational. taught us seminar. a lot. Yes. It's really good. And right. I went to the laser tag seminar. That was a fabulous seminar. The quality of education this year has really been upgraded a lot. Yeah. Did a lot more what I noticed it. is uh, practically all of the attendees go to the seminars now. Yes, in the well, old days, it used to be like 5%. Yeah, the one seminar we went to, they had 100 chairs, we had 200 people. They're bringing in chairs, even Frank the Social is carting chairs at. So, you know, it's been a great turnout, yeah, definitely. Yeah, is uh, this expo more booths, more uh, more people? What's uh, been your... You know, it looks like the size of the room is the same, but the difference is, is that you have a lot of smaller booths, so there's a lot more items to look at. And like I had said earlier, I've been here four hours, I'm only up starting the third row, so it's definitely going to take me two days to get through. The quality of the booths, the quality of the products that are available today have, have gone up a notch. There's a lot, you know, we used to walk through and not even look at the first 12 or so, it you know, didn't pertain. Now, you know, a lot more booths are catching our eye with the products that are really working in our industry today, so it's been a great show. Yeah, you guys did a great job. It's one of my favorite shows of the year. Yeah, well, I used to be involved in, you know, helping with the show every year. Um, it's kind of nice now not having to work and walk around and be able to actually enjoy the show and see items. So looking forward to getting through the rest of the show the next two days. Pretty good. Thank you, Michael. All right, sure, Frank. So, bye.